Hello boys and girls, me again. Uh, I just thought I'd show you a really neat little gadget I've got. It's the Yale uh, intrusion alarm. It's a motion sensor, four buttons on it. Really simple, sorry about my kid going around on his... Lewis, can't you see I'm busy? So basically you, it's a motion detector. So if you've got a shed or you're something and you don't want anybody to be snooping in it, it won't stop them stealing stuff. And yes, they could just smash it with a hammer, I suppose, uh, until it stops beeping, but beeping. Uh, 15 quid each. Uh, I've got a couple of places I wouldn't want people to be going in. So I just thought I'd run you through how it works. You take the back off, takes four AA batteries. You put the batteries in, you'll hear a beep and you have to put in your four digit code that you want to save to it uh, every time you disconnect the batteries. Um, so you do that, you put the batteries in, then press Im immediately your four digit code. If you want to arm the device, you press the four button. So I'm just gonna do that now, and while we're talking, uh, it can load what it does. Basically, it gives you 30 seconds to evacuate the area, after which, if you if it detects motion in there, an alarm will go off. So we're just gonna sit tight and wait for the alarm to go off. Um, you'll hear another beep on the way out when it sets and then you get about three or four seconds after that for it to actually start working. I got two, because I've got two little sheds. Not that there's much valuables in them, but I, I think there's more and more people sort of chancing their luck these days. There it goes. That's the beep. And I wouldn't want people snooping around. So it's probably going to detect me moving around in here. There you go. I'm just going to put in my code. I'm going to show you what it is. There we go. And it stops. That's disarm now. So every time you leave, you have to press the one, the four button and it'll arm it. But how good is that? Just have it by the door. As soon as somebody comes in, sets the alarm off. Now that would wake you up in the middle of the night. That was really loud. So that would get you up. You'd know someone's gone in there or it may be a cat or something snuck into your shed. But at the end of the day, it gives you a good chance. It probably just scares them off as a deterrent. As soon as they try anything and an alarm goes off, they're out of there. If they're clever, they're not gonna be hanging around to try and steal stuff. Um, and I have a few bits in here that, you know, people could want. Not that I'm advertising that. But yeah, I thought it was a good little gadget for 15 quid each, four AA batteries. I'll let you know how long the batteries last. Um, but we probably go in my shed every day because obviously I do, if you watch the videos, you know I'm a gardener, so we get kit and stuff out of here all the time. I have to show Dave how to disarm it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got ones that are different. Catch you later. So just after I made the review, I decided to trick Dave and send him out to the shed to collect some bits and see how he reacted to the new alarm, not knowing it's there. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. He doesn't, he doesn't. No, he's just going along with it. I don't need the batteries or the angle grinder. I'm just moving stuff today. So what did he say to you? I don't need the angle grinder. He said to you, I don't need the angle grinder. Oh, bless you. So can you go and get the angle grinder? Yes. <laughs> It doesn't go off this time, I'll be pissed off. He didn't even question why it was locked. Here you go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We don't need anything from the shed anyway. <laughs> yeah, you did you not question why uh, it was locked again? Yeah. You didn't even lock it. I, you know what? I, 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 yeah, I was like, I can't remember doing that, but I might have done. That's funny.